Well, why stop with the houses and the people? Gingerbread is great for all sorts of baking. And look at those muffins. They look like they're ready to eat. Oh, and you can smell them because they've got the spices in them. Well, you, you almost taste the holidays mm -hmm. when you smell the scrumptious mm -hmm. gingerbread baking through the house. But you know, people eat spice cakes all year round, so mm -hmm. why not eat some spice muffins all year round? Well, how do we make these? Well, I like to start out preparing my pan so I don't go, oops, I forgot to prepare my pan. So this is silicone, but I'm still spraying it with some vegetable pan spray just to get it ready. Okay. You could use a metal pan with some baking cups in it if you wanted to, too, which I'll show you that in a minute. But we're going to put our dry ingredients together, and I've got two and a fourth cups of all-purpose flour, a half cup of sugar, a tablespoon of baking powder, these are your dry ingredients. Mm -hmm. And then I've got the three spices that kind of make the gingerbread is cinnamon, ginger, and cloves. And I've got a half teaspoon of the cinnamon and the ginger and a fourth teaspoon of cloves. And you want to put a half teaspoon of salt in there. You don't want it salty, but it helps sometimes bring out the sweetness uh, right. that you have. And then you're just going to kind of mix that together so that it gets, you know, mixed in. And you and can if usually you miss something. If, if you don't have a pencil and a paper right now, you can check out the website. Mm -hmm. and, and, find and you can that. see it's just kind of distributed evenly. Now, let's do our dry ingredients, I mean our wet, wet ingredients, right. because we're going to add them to our dry ingredients. And I've got a teaspoon of vanilla in here. Which smells dreamy. Yes, it does. And okay. I've got two eggs. Two whole eggs. And Mother always says good to the last drop. All right. And then I've got three-fourths of a cup of milk. Is that whole milk? Mm-hmm. Okay. Whole yeah, milk. you can tell how it pours. Oh, I can. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I usually drink skim milk, but this is whole. Okay, this is whole. And then a third of a cup of butter. Uh, that's and then good stuff right there. I like yeah. to use a whisk with this because you're trying to break up your yolks and you know kind of get them mixed in with your wet ingredients. And now when you break stir up, all this go. together, do you use a mixer or do you just no. use a whisk? Right. With a muffin, I always do it by hand because if you use a mixer, you're going to have a tendency to over mix your muffins and when you do that, then you start getting the funnels inside and you get those huge peaks. Now some people may think that's the way it's supposed to look. Uh -huh. But, but it's, it's not. not. Now, what is a funnel? I'm sorry. A funnel is a hole in the middle of your muffin. Oh, okay. I think some people that make them like that think that's where you put your butter. <laughs> right. okay. But it's not. It's not meant to you be. You know, that if way. you were being graded on muffin making, you would not have any funnels and you wouldn't have any peaks. You'd have a nice rounded top. And I like to use a rubber spatula just because you can get it off the side of the bowl and get everything mixed in. You can put a little effort into it. And some muffin. Uh, bat batters are a little bit thinner than this, but this is a nice consistency now that you have. That's looking good. So you're just wanting it to get kind of pasty looking, mm -hmm. just, just to make sure your ingredients are Just so you don't see any mixed. more dry ingredients. Okay. Okay, and then I like to, let me get my dirty dishes out of the way. I like to actually use a scoop to put them in here. Right. I'm going to taste it while you're doing it, okay? Okay. Just to let you know. And so you get the perfect amount. You need about two-thirds full. So you can see it's not all the way full. No, because they're going to bake up. Mm -hmm. It is going to rise. Now see, I could have this muffin with a little spice tea mm -hmm. on a cold winter day. I'm telling and, you, I'm uh, smelling this. Mm -hmm. oh, it's now, you're also smelling probably what I have in the oven, but you would, I would put those on a cookie sheet and mm -hmm. put them in the oven. Mm -hmm. And here we have some. Oh, here's my cooling grid. These are delicious. Mm, they smell good. Those are delicious. So that's how they the muffins look. Good. Now, let's go into truffles. You may not have ever thought that you could do truffles. I think that sounds very intimidating. No. When I think of truffles, I think it's very high-end and something that I couldn't do. No. But it's This not. is just 14 ounces of chopped candy melts, which is your craft candy, but you could also use white chocolate. And I've microwaved it a little bit on a lower power. And it's okay. a half cup of heavy whipping cream. And I've actually microwaved that, too, so it's hot. And that helps... Continue it helps the melting continue process. Continue melt it, and you see it's just you know it's just beginning to go together. Okay. And you want to stir that until it's very well blended. Okay. And, and then I'm adding, adding the spices: a half teaspoon of cinnamon, a fourth teaspoon of ginger because it's kind of strong, and an eighth mm. of a teaspoon of cloves. So we're just going to mix that up until it's well blended. You know, if this were scratch and sniff television, people mm. could smell the gingerbread oh, here. I know. I mean, it doesn't. I know. It does so you like can continue mixing that, but you know, kind of get the idea. Then you're going to put it into a, a pan and put it in the refrigerator for one to two hours or overnight. Let it set up a little mm -hmm. bit. Okay, you're making balls now. And then it's very now. soft and pliable. Here, I'll give you one. Just make a ball. Okay. And then just roll out a ball. Now the same mixture, if you used it when it was hot, you could pour over a cake for a ganache, like okay. a chocolate ganache. And now am I going to? 
Yeah. We're, we're just going to take gonna, these that are. This is a dipping set. You're going to dip this in the chocolate. These are melted you, chocolates. I gave you white, white chocolate. chocolate and, mm -hmm. um, and then you can put whatever sprinkles or sugars that you want. Now this way, I it's kind of neat. I have colored sugar. I have a red sugar mm -hmm. that you can see on the sugar tree. You have the green. Oops. You have the red, the glass. you have the whites, and you don't only have to do, I know we're doing cinnamon, we're following out, you know, the theme with mm -hmm. uh, the gingerbread, but I have tasted peppermint, I have tasted eggnog truffles, toffee truffles, I mean, there are a lot of flavors yeah, out there. So you could use any kind of colored sprinkles or sugars, you know, for every day, you'd use them for a holiday. They're just really, really tasty.